Hi all, in this video we will see how to retrieve document properties in Google Classes. Uh, we have the option to retrieve the document properties using the para from the parameter list values and classes and uh, the get document property map function, custom scripting step and accessibility transformation step. I have created a sample process to demonstrate this, how to retrieve the document properties and this is my sample process here. Uh, this is a disconnector uh, where I'm getting a file from the disk directory, work directory. So if you see the connection, I'm getting the file from the work directory. In the operation, I just mentioned to get one file. I haven't mentioned any file name, file filter. So it, it will get one file from the work directory. I'll cancel this. So in the same uh, in the same flow process flow, I have created uh, how to get the how to get the disk file name using the custom script. This is the custom script how it looks like. So the prop one value equal to props dot get property connector dot track disk file name. So the file which uh, which we will get from the disk directory is assigned to the prop one, and uh, and prop one value is assigned to the dynamic process property which is disk. Later we can retrieve this uh, uh, DPP and see if the file uh, file name is assigned to the dynamic process property. So this is how we set the uh, get document property. In the custom script. In the map ship in the same process flow, I have also created uh, to show how to retrieve the uh, document property. Uh, to get the file name. So I have taken a function from the functions I have selected property, get document property, and this is my document property. Uh, I have selected the document property disconnector and selected the file name. Click OK, and uh, the file name I'm assigning to. Uh, to the file name in the target profile, but we can also see uh, what is the file name uh, which was stored uh, in this map function uh, while I run the process. So I'm canceling this, closing this. So now I'll run the process to see. Uh, and here in the notify step, I have uh, I have I have configured uh, to see what value I have retrieved in the test uh, DPP dynamic process property test which was configured in the custom scripting So here we are getting a file from the disk work directory. And this is a file name which I got from the uh, disk work directory 298.pand. And in the custom scripting, uh, I have uh, written a property to get the uh, file name. And I am uh, I'm checking that file name. In this notify shape, so I'm checking what is the value assigned to that uh, particular uh, test uh, DPP. So yeah, it it has saved with the correct file name. So this is the file which was retrieved, which we got from the disk directory, and it is assigned to the uh, DPP. So.
So if you see the script here, we have as in whatever the file name which we got from the connector dot track this file name document property, we have assigned it to the uh, dynamic process property test. So we are checking the value of test in the notify shape and we can see that uh, uh, it was saved with the correct file name, which ends with 298.dat. Similarly, in the map shape, I have configured uh, to get the dynamic document property, the file name. Now I'll test the process. Here we can see get dynamic docu uh, document get document property disk file name, which is a file name which we retrieve from the disk directory to dot dat. Similarly, we can also retrieve the document property using a parameter list value. For example, I have created a simple example. Um, this is a Salesforce connector. In the parameters list, in the operation, we have two uh, we have two filters: uh, owner ID and resolution. So I'm setting the parameters for this both owner ID. Click owner ID. Select owner ID, click OK. And from the drop down, select document property. And in the document property, I'm going to set with a dynamic document property and with the property name as DDP owner ID. Similarly, we will configure the other property, other parameter, which is resolution, document property. And from this, I'm selecting the dynamic document property. And I'll give DDP, DDP resolution. Okay, and this is how we can um, configure the document properties, uh, uh, dynamic property, uh, do dynamic document property uh, in the parameter list, and the other, and the last one, uh, how to retrieve the document property is using the XSLT transformation in the data process shape. So before running this particular process flow, I'll just show the uh, XSLT transformation. So here, if you see, we are uh, getting get DDP report name and also DDP price threshold. So we are setting those DDPs before this XSLT transformation. So the report name we have set to my expensive CD collection and Danu document property DTP price threshold is set to 10. So when we run this process now, we can see, we can, uh, we can retrieve the report name and also all the records whose price threshold is 10. Save it and test the process. So if you see here, we 
we can find the file name in this XSL C XSL T style sheet. Uh, my expenses CD collection, and we have uh, got all the records uh, whose price threshold is 10. Thank you.